Hey guys, my name is David. I'm here today to show you how I built my Apollo space capsule. It's for an upcoming movie that I'm working on called Moonwalker. I got the idea for this mm. movie and I needed a capsule that you could see the outside, the astronaut being loaded, All and aboard. the inside with the astronaut on his way into space. So I came up with this drawing using uh, Microsoft Paint and I went to the hardware store and started buying wood and some other things hey, I to do hey, I the project. That. I built the framework and started adding this <laughs> work with into the mode and realize that I have to build the inside before I build the outside or I can't get inside to build the inside. <laughs> so anyway, I started from the framework, had a few pieces of skin on, stopped and started working on the inside trying to finish it up. The real Apollo space capsule is 12 feet wide, Ooh. so mine is 12 feet wide, ah. but it's only half of the capsule, so I had to add a two foot by two foot extension directly across from the hatchway where I could comfortably put my launch couch and lay down. I found an old prosthetic leg that had been abandoned and brought it home. My wife didn't seem too happy about it, but didn't seem that bad. Anyway, I removed the foam rubber covering and underneath was beautifully machined hardware with a gas piston that worked out great for my control arm panel. Mm -hmm. My electrical circuits came from discarded electronic devices. Anything that had a circuit I could find, I used. The gauges on the instrument panel are wooden toy car wheels painted black with paper gauges on them made with Microsoft Paint. The space gimbal is an old clock from Walmart. Hey, that's good thinking, yes, that's a real oxygen tank. Empty, of course. The cost of this project is 12 sheets of 4x8 masonite, 4 2x4 stud, 8 1x4x8s. I also used two 1x12x8s. For paint, I used about 12 cans of various colors of spray paint. Also, two gallons of latex, different colors. The toggle switches that are lit up and the LEDs were a total of $57. I got 30 plain switches off the internet for $10. They're really good buy. Woohoo! Chip's computer is an old Dell computer with a small flat screen monitor that was given to me. Four boxes of various screws for a total of about $20. Add another $50 for various miscellaneous items and the total cost of the project comes to $522.64. Not bad for an almost full-size Apollo capsule. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration and we'll see you next time.